Hello, in this video, I'm going to talk about essential, non-essential, and conditional nutrients. So a nutrient is essential if we must get it through the diet. And if we, if it's a nutrient, meaning that if we don't have enough or we have absence of that nutrient for long enough, then we have some kind of deficiency. So an essential nutrient is a chemical that we cannot make ourselves in the body or that we can't make enough of. So we must get it through the diet to maintain good health. Um, so there's at least 45 essential nutrients that have been identified. And it's possible that there are more than that, that we just haven't identified or recognized yet. A non-essential nutrient is a chemical that is a nutrient. So it is required for good health. And if we don't have it for a long enough time, it will cause a deficiency disease. But the difference is that we can produce it. So non-essential nutrients are chemicals that the body usually produces an adequate amount. So we don't have to get it from the diet. Um, now, you may be wondering, well, who cares about non-essential nutrients? If we produce it and don't have to worry about getting it from the food, then what does it matter? Well, it matters because non-essential nutrients can become conditionally essential. So a conditionally essential nutrient is when we have a non-essential nutrient, meaning that we produce it in the body. But if for some reason we're not producing enough to meet our current demands, then under those conditions, it becomes essential. That's a conditionally essential nutrient. Um, so non-essential nutrients, we really never have to think about unless we are under certain conditions where now it becomes essential. We now have to get it from the diet because we're not able to produce enough. So that can mean that for some reason, we aren't producing as much anymore. So maybe our demand hasn't changed, but our ability to produce it has been impaired. Um, or it could be that we're producing as much as usual, but our demand for that nutrient has increased. So like pregnancy, the demand for certain nutrients increases. Um, and so your ability to produce more might also increase with it, but you might need to get some of those non-essential nutrients through the diet to make up the difference. Okay, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.